Hi everyone, so I work at iAdvice, I'm in charge of uh, content and I had the opportunity to work on the program of this day together with the different uh, people who participate to the roundtables and when we brainstorm to find topics that could enable us to be inspired by conversation, we talked about an article that was published around the WhatsApp mes uh, messaging tool. And that's what I wanted to share with you. It is an article from Le Monde that was published at the end of 2015. It was a web documentary. And uh, many articles that were published right after uh, this one highlighted this innovation from Le Monde. So we're in September 2015 in Syria. Two journalists that work for Le Monde and uh, are monitoring migration flux towards migration flows towards Europe. And they meet two young Syrian people that are on their way to Germany. They are just about to cross the agency. Together uh, with the journalists, they are going to um, to build a trustworthy relationship. And at the end of their trip, the two young people are going to give the journalists, their um, diary, and their diary is actually the conversation, the WhatsApp conversation that they put together with their family who li still lives in Syria. They're going to send the journalists over 200 uh, screenshots, and these uh, screenshots are going to be published on the website of the newspaper. It's quite surprising, actually, because this conversation um, was introduced by the young Syrian girl who who built, who created this group. Uh, she set up three rules: love and passion are forbidden in this group. The second one, for, it's forbidden to fight. Let's all stay quiet and calm. And the uh, third one, this is about sharing details. And ju just in like any other kind of conversation, all the rules are going to be uh, broken because I think the second message is uh, from the mom of the young girl and she says uh, how much she loves her and how passionate she feels about her trip, her journey. So we're going to follow them, uh, those two people, uh, thanks to their words, their images, their images, their selfies. We're going to read how worried they were. Um, we're going to read from people who want to help them. And we're going to also read about their favorite football team's results, for instance. We're going to see them in the bus, in the train, uh, all the um, very difficult uh, adventures they have to live through. And what is very interesting is that this conversation comes to us without any kind of filters. And for us as readers, it's a real experience. And I think it's a, it's a great experience if you watch it on uh, your mobile phone. It's quite interesting because it's the same kind of conversation we would have with our friends and family. So try to watch this web documentary from your cell phone. It's quite interesting. There is also from Le Monde an article that uh, analyzed this conversation and describes it. And so it's more a traditional article. And it's very different. It's a very different experience to read the same piece of information from a conversation directly or from uh, an article. And this example is just an example of the fact that journalists today and media around messaging are more and more used, are more and more using these tools to work. There are quite a lot of examples. For instance, there are journalists on the field who communicate with their um, newspapers with uh, the messaging apps. Um, there is also this journalist who use um, protected sources thanks to Telegram. So Telegram, it's a messaging that was uh, developed by Russian entrepreneurs that encrypts the um, content, so pictures, videos, for instance. And the media uh, also uses uh, messaging for um, in order to, to get more audience, to attract more people. And there are a lot of examples here. We have uh, CNN, for instance, who created the first bot to suggest articles on Messenger. There is also, I don't know if you know about this tool, the Decodex that was developed by Le Monde.fr and that is also uh, accessible through a Messenger bot to uh, track fake news. It was quite useful during the presidential elections. And there is another example from um, LOBS, 
and uh, it's uh, an immersion type of documentary so it uh, helped uh, it enabled readers to join a Facebook group a messenger group to follow a group of uh, people who didn't know who to vote for for the elections so it was uh, there was a list of short examples but to go back to the monde article what i found interesting is that before there are tools, innovation type of tools for companies and professionals to generate business, to lead, to generate leads, then we go back to the core uh, value of this messaging and how uh, communication helps people uh, going through this world and this ever-changing world. And we can see that conversation enabled by these tools can uh, last for a long time, even throughout uh, long distance, and how we're going to be able to exchange uh, very random type of news, which uh, ex is extremely necessary when uh, we have to uh, leave uh, such complicated uh, events. Um, just to, to give you a quick overview, there is an email that will be sent to you with all the contents. Thanks a lot.